church in Huntersville, not too far down the road. Uh, I'm also married. My wife Jenny and I have been married for 25 years. We've got four kids. They're all teenagers, so life is really good <laughs> in our household. And I'm honored to be a part of this, as are all of you. Let me just ask, was this a surprise for most everybody? Yes! yes! <laughs> 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 but 
what a good surprise it is that's right that we get to be here in this very special day for both of you i've enjoyed getting to know kevin and brandy over the last several months as we've met uh several times to talk about this very day the surprise but also to talk about married life as well uh, and i've enjoyed getting to know both of you you guys are a fun couple uh, i know that you love each other you've already made great memories together and you'll continue to do that uh, you and i we're here gathered to celebrate one of the happiest moments in their lives as they exchange some promises and they exchange some rings and become husband and wife and we believe all of us we believe that god's in this that god created both of you he gave you life he gave you breath he even orchestrated your story to where they intersected with each other you became friends and that friendship grew into love and that love grows into a love commitment from this day forward and we believe that god's going to provide for you in the good times of marriage and the challenging times of marriage in sickness and in health when the two of you have so much money you have no idea what to do with it <laughs> or if you don't have uh, two pennies to rub together it's still this same god is going to provide for you out of his resources and his goodness back in psalm 23 it says the lord is my shepherd i have everything that i need in him even when we walk through dark valleys you don't have to be afraid because god is with you i'd love to invite all of us to say a prayer and ask god to bless our time together would you pray with me God, we're so grateful to be here in this moment to celebrate a happy time in the life of Kevin and Brandy. Uh, we're so excited for them, we're excited for their marriage. We're grateful that we have this breeze that is coming off the lake and it's not raining and that we can be outside and enjoy you. In Jesus' name we all pray, amen. 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 Now the Bible says that a man shall leave his father and mother and be united unto his wife and the two shall become one. So with that in mind, John, let me ask you a really courageous question. Who gives this bride to be married to this young man? I do. We got a little mist coming down. Y'all hang, hang high with us. We'll do the best we can. I know the two of them are so grateful for each and every one of you. I know that also as they've been planning for this day, they've, they've reminisced about when it was you first met back in 2016, uh, where in February, where the two of you had really basically two weeks of phone dates, where you just did, you, you texted and you talked on the phone before you ever really met each other. And then it was Easter of 2016, Kevin, you flew to New Orleans to meet up. You guys had an enjoyable time there. and. and and that was the wrong. first time from what you told me that you felt love. There was some love. But you didn't say it yet. You held out on saying I love you until late April uh, when you both expressed your love for each other. And then pretty quickly you, you faced some challenging times together. You took the loss of your dad and the two of you went through that together with your family. And early May of last year, Kevin, uh, your, your, your father passed away. In February of, that, of the, this year, you went shopping for rings. <laughs> All right, well, on your own from what I heard, right? Picked out what you thought was the perfect wedding ring, and then Brandy said, well, let me just tell you the wedding ring I would not like to have. And it happened to be the wedding ring you had picked out originally. <laughs> no problem for you. You were able to make that switch very quickly and give her the ring that you think that she deserved. And then it was at the Grove Park Inn, I believe, where you got on a knee and you said, will you marry me? And it's been your love that has endured all this time. Today's your wedding day. After we say some promises and exchange some rings, uh, eventually all of us are going to be dispersed, and we're going to go our separate ways later tonight. The two of you are going to be left to steward this marriage. And to be honest, marriage is really challenging. Can I get an amen from you? Amen! Yeah. <laughs> it is. But that's when the promises you say to each other now. Is to put those into practice for the rest of your life. I'm going to ask you a really important question and ask each of you to respond with a confident I do, okay? I'll start with you, Kevin. Do you promise before God and these people who support and love you to take Brandy to be your lawful wedded wife, to love her, to respect her, to have her, to hold her, to honor and cherish her in health and in sickness and times of great wealth, times of great loss, and leaving all others to faithfully keep yourself her only as long as you both show it. I do. Perfect. Randy? Do you 
promise to take before God and these people, we love and support you to take Kevin to be your lawful wedded husband. Love him, show him honor, hold him, cherish him, health and sickness in times of great loss, in times of great uh, sickness, leaving all others to faithfully keep yourself from him only as long as you both shall live. Perfect. Perfect. Now I'm going to lead you in some promises, some vows. You just repeat after me. I'll start with you, Kevin. I, Kevin, I Kevin, take you, Brandy, to be my wife. You are my companion in life and my one true love. I will treasure our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. Come what may, I will always be there as I give you my hands to hold. Do I give you my life to keep? It's beautiful, Brandy. I'm asking you to repeat after me as well. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Take you, Kevin, to be my husband. You are my companion in life. You are my companion And my one true love. I will treasure our friendship. I will treasure our friendship. I love you today. today. Tomorrow and forever. Tomorrow and forever. I will trust and honor you. Trust and honor you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Come what may. Come what may. I will always be here. I will always be here. As I give you my hands to hold. So I give you my life to keep. Awesome. The Bible has a lot to say about love, but we just focus on love is patient and love is kind. So Kevin, as you're thinking about how do I love my wife really well, it's going to look a lot like being patient and kind with her. Brandon, as you think about how do I love my husband really well, it's going to look a lot like being patient and kind with now, uh, we know that a wedding ceremony is much more than just a contract between two people, like a business agreement, where I'm going to uphold my end of the bargain as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. But what we're talking about here is much deeper than that. It's a commitment to each other for the rest of your life to be in this exclusive relationship of husband and wife. And since we need reminders of the promises that we make to each other, we exchange rings. A dream's become this very visible reminder of your promise and your love. So I'm going to start out. Right way. And then slide those on. Bring the finger. Turn the eyes. Repeat after me. Brandon, let this ring be a symbol of my promises to you. And a reminder of my devotion to you. I am honored to call you my wife. I don't look at my ring. Once you get it on there, you just look them in the eyes and you can see up. Kevin, with this ring that I'm giving to you, I'm going to let this ring be a symbol of my promises to you. And a reminder, and a reminder of my devotion. <laughs> of my devotion. <laughs> I am honored to call you my husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, a wedding is filled with these images that reinforce the promise that two of you have made to each other. <laughs> I love the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm there. All right. Well, they've said, I do. They've exchanged some beautiful vows to each other. They've exchanged rings. In the book of Mark, it says, let no one split apart what God has joined together. So we celebrate and both are peace. You're going to spend the rest of your life learning what it is to love each other really well as husband and wife. One of the best gifts I think you and I, friends and family, can give this couple is to pray for them. 
you commit to praying for them even beyond today, would you just indicate by nodding your head yes? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. 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 You got it. Uh, would you pray with me now? God, now we're thankful for the rain. <laughs> in the midst of the rain that you've given us your grace you showered us with grace and we're grateful for that we're thankful for your love God we wouldn't have any idea what love looked like if it wasn't for you demonstrating it to each one of us and I pray that you would enable Kevin and Randy to become great lovers of you and great lovers of each other and we all ask these things in Jesus name Amen. 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 And now by the authority that's been given to me as an ordained minister of the gospel, I declare the two of you are husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah.